Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Drag Strip. Now, taking a quick look at the packaging, you've got Drag Strip right here in robot mode within this wonderful windowless box that Hasbro has blessed us with recently. And, you know, I've mentioned before, I don't like this because, you know, you've got everybody's booger-picking fingers touching your figure. They can be easily vandalized. But with this open box, there's no integrity with the box. So if something's stacked on top of it, it's going to crush. Not to mention, you mint and box guys really probably don't like this because of all the dust that can get inside there. So I understand why they did this but it is still stupid. So going on over the packaging, we got Transformers right here, Transformers Legacy, some great looking artwork of drag strip here in vehicle mode. This side of the box, you got drag strip, a close up of his face, and there he is full body. On the back of the packaging, you got drag strip in robot mode and vehicle mode and transforms in 17 steps. And it also shows that he is one of five for Menasaur. He kind of got a Menasaur helmet right there with the horns. And that's also, well, I thought it was on the front of the box. It is not. This side of the packaging, you've got the Decepticon artwork with Megatron, Dragstrip, Iguanus, and Skywarp. So now, without further ado, let's quit talking about the box and get the figure out of it. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> And another thing regarding this windowless packaging here, I'm opening drag strip up and I notice the tag, the really thick plastic tag right there. So you have that going on. Then once you open the figure, you've got all the little plastic bands, which keeps him in place. But behind those plastic bands are all these little round translucent plastic discs. So, hypocrisy at its finest. Now, once you get drag strip all free of all his plastic bindings, you'll see that he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. And also, something I neglected to tell you guys in the intro is on the back of these packages, you have this QR code that you can scan to pull up tech specs for the figure. Dragstrip also comes with these two pistols, and I really like these. These are better looking than I was expecting because, as you can see, they are painted. My one complaint is that you don't get a left and a right. You see how you have the pegs there on the same side? I wish one had pegs on the other. Reason being that those pegs are there, you can actually peg the weapons together to form a double barrel blaster. But like I said, you could easily do this with pegs on opposite sides. But, oh well, I still really like the looks of those blasters. And then of course, we've got Drag Strip himself. And I love the looks of this guy. He is very true to his Generation 1 cartoon counterpart, aside from the shoulder pylons there. And what I really like is they brought back the double wheels there on the shoulders. 
Not a big fan of how they hang off, but as I said, he looks just like he did in the Generation 1 cartoon. Drag Strip here is my absolute favorite of the Stunicons. I just loved his attitude in the show, especially when he told off Megatron. Stunicons, report at once. Megatron commands. Tell Megatron to blow it out his exhaust. We're having a demolition in Derby. Now taking a closer look at the figure, great head sculpt. Love the looks of that. Once again, very true to the Generation 1 cartoon. I like the engine block there in the chest. Also very Generation 1. He's got the red striping there on the sides of his arms and there on the legs. And that's about it. He really doesn't have a lot of paint applications. The head looks great. He's got the brownish yellow there around the chest. And that's about it. He's a very plain looking bot, but very true to how he looked in Generation 1. I just cannot say that enough. I think this is so cool looking, especially compared to some of the drag strips we've got in the past. Now going on to articulation, the head is on a ball joint, can look up and down and do a complete 360. Mine's a little tight. The arms out and in, complete 360 as well. There's also a pretty nice angled of an elbow bend there, excuse me, got tongue tied. No wrist rotation, and that's mainly due to this transformation gimmick right here, but there is a bicep swivel. There is waist rotation. Legs can go out, they can go in, they can go back, they can go forward. There is a knee bend, there is a thigh rotation, and there is an ankle tilt. So he does have lots of articulation, except for the wrist. Doesn't like to stand too well though. He doesn't have any heel spur, so you gotta get him angled just right. Now, of course, you can take the weapons, plug these in drag strip's hands, and now you have drag strip all armed and ready for battle. And I just think he looks so cool. Now, for those of you who are not a big fan of these shoulder pylons here, you can kind of angle them around to kind of flare them out a little bit. It doesn't hinder movement of the shoulders unless you go for that whole 360. Then it's gonna catch up there. But, you know, your preference, it's up to you how you want to display him. So now let's get drag strip transformed into vehicle mode. And the first thing we're gonna do is remove the blasters. Go ahead and get those out of the way. Move the shoulder pylons back. And the first thing we're gonna do is take the arm section right here and rotate this down. Do that on both sides. Now you're going to take the wheel and fold those down so they line up side by side. Now you're going to take this chest section and bring this completely down. Fold the head up like so. Go ahead and take the shoulder pylons, rotate those around. As you can see, that's going to be the front of the vehicle and just pull this whole section up and bring it together. It's gonna to snap together here at the top. Just angle everything in. Right here on the back of the figure, make sure and line up the arm sections around those ports. So they go in there just like so. Everything snapped into place. And now you're gonna take this section here and rotate it around. So it's gonna line up the little brown section here going to line up to that arch. arch. There's a hinge here, straighten that out, bring the whole cockpit section down and peg it into the arms. And that finishes up the front of the vehicle. Now for the back, go ahead and snap the legs together, rotate there at the waist, bring the feet up. Those are going to form the rear spoiler. And then back here, take these sections, Fold those up, bring the legs in, like so. They're gonna lock in right here. Bring those flaps down, and there you have drag strip in vehicle mode. I like the transformation, and I like how clean this is. That is just awesome. And I like, a lot of people complain about, but I like how they're able to take the engine here have it on the rear of the vehicle. It is actually behind the legs. 
and the faux engine kind of folds up there in the cockpit looking like a control panel. Now he does have a visible head syndrome. The back of the head is hollow, I guess to make that look like a seat, but you know, there's no human that's gonna be driving drag strip. Maybe rumble. Now, I do like, once again, that he has the two wheels there on the front, so he's a six-wheeled racer, just like the Generation 1 toy, because I really don't think that we've seen that since Generation 1. Dragstrip has always had four wheels, and now I love the fact that Legacy has brought back the six-wheeled look. And check that out. That is pretty much spot on to the Generation 1 toy. I love it. Now, he does have those stupid clip-on wheels that hopefully some third-party company will make covers for. It doesn't look so bad here on the back because the black blends in. But other than that, I love the looks of this thing. And let's see. And yeah, it rolls really, really good. Now, you can take the blasters and attach the blasters right there on those ports or in those ports beside the engine, which kind of give him a combat look. You know, the original Generation 1 toy had the cannons that went over the top, and they were purple cannons. So I love how those blasters are a throwback to the G1 cannons. And that looks good. A lot of times the weapons do not look good on the vehicle. Doesn't look too bad with this guy right here. Now, drag strip, of course, being a Stunicon, is going to be part of the upcoming Menasaur. And I'm going to show you how his arm transformation is. He is going to be a combiner limb. He is usually the right arm. And to turn him into the arm mode, there is this little slot right here that, let me see, I'm gonna take this little thing, pop that in, press the button, pull that apart. Worked earlier, flawlessly, there you go. So there is Drag Strip's combiner limb mode, his right arm. And a lot of folks, I've heard them complain about this, that they don't like how the upcoming Minasaur is gonna look using these arms so right there that is how drag strips gonna look as an arm i don't have a problem with it because it's actually let me adjust my camera accordingly here i think it's going to be done the same way magic square did their combiner see how drag strip is actually split in half he's attached to a section of motor master's trailer the whole trailer is what becomes menasaur's body so that just clips on makes it a lot more cartoon accurate and I think it's going to look really good. I'm excited for the upcoming Menasaur. Now of course his combiner arm gimmick does add some playability to the figure because now he can do a great Darth Maul impersonation. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Legacy Drag Strip with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Drag Strip, and Combiner Wars Drag Strip. Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Drag Strip is a great figure in my opinion. Of course, I'm a little biased. I've always been a Drag Strip fan, but I really like how Hasbro really added all of those nice Generation 1 nods to this figure, and I love it. I just think this guy looks so good. And some of the things I didn't really go over before in the review there's not a lot of gaps or waffles with the figure, other than, you know, a little bit there in the arms and here for the legs. But other than that, I mean, he looks great. One uh, disappointment, though, is the weapons are not blast effect compatible. There's just no tip to put these on, which is kind of disappointing. I guess if you forced it on, it would work. But Kickback's gun, who is part of this same line, has the blast effect compatibility. So I don't know if they're slowly phasing this out or what, but I for one am gonna miss that gimmick, especially when it comes for pictures, the outro of my reviews. So there you go guys, Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Drag Strip. So does a Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Drag Strip belong in your collection? Absolutely, I love this figure. As I said, I'm a huge drag strip fan, and I really think Hasbro did the character justice with this figure. Robot mode looks great. Vehicle mode looks great. He's got a fun transformation. The plastic quality actually feels really good on this figure. 
and I cannot wait to see what he looks like combined with the other legacy Stunicons to form Hasbro's new Menasaur. But that being said, how long is it going to be until we actually get our hands on Menasaur? We got drag strip here in wave one. Are we going to get other deluxes in wave two, three, and four? And then, of course, we're going to have the new Commander Class Motormaster released. Mm, I have a feeling he's going to be released in December for the holiday. So we not we may not see Menasaur until Christmas or early next year. But if he's going to be anything like the Magic Square version, I think it's going to be worth the wait. So yes, if you see Drag Strip on this shelf, do not hesitate. Pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I gotta give a huge shout out to all my current members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!